So myrtle rust is a, an invasive fungal pathogen uh, that was introduced into Australia um, in 2010 and has since established uh, widely through our native ecosystems and is impacting on a range of different species. Uh, to date it's impacted on more than 360 different species. Uh, some of those are actually being pushed close to extinction as a result of metal rust infection. So Myrtaceae are uh, really important to Australia. They dominate many of our native ecosystems. Um, they're important from not only that just broader ecological perspective, but, but also things like stabilising um, creek and river banks during flooding events. Um, and then you've obviously got also, there's the commercial interest using eucalypt timber. So following the, the wildfire events in 2019-20, um, we wanted to look at the impacts of myrtle rust on regeneration in fire affected areas. So we've been looking at what the impacts myrtle rust might have on seedling regeneration, but re-sprouting as well. Um, so what we found is that 36 different species have, have shown some level of impact. We've seen significant decline uh, both on the reshoot and the, the seedlings, um, as well as uh, interruption in terms of level of flowering. Um, in the rainforest ecosystems, um, there's been impact on a, a range of species. Uh, so when we were doing the studies a couple of years ago, this is a species that we thought would actually survive the rust. Uh, it seemed to be more resistant or more tolerant to, to the disease. But what we're seeing now is, is quite considerable dieback on, on both the regen and older trees. And that's pretty much the only one that's left standing in that little site there. So the research involved um, doing surveys across a broad range of, of locations. Uh, so this was looking at, at fire uh, mapping sites in, in association with ecosystem uh, mapping as well. So our, our studies extended from north on, on Fraser Island, or Gari as it's known, um, right down to the, the New South Wales Victoria border um, and extended inland into some of the, those upland rainforest areas, um, particularly around some of the Gondwana um, rainforest ecosystems of Washpool National Park uh, and then also into Main Range National Park. So this project uh, includes researchers from or other researchers from the Department of Agriculture and Fisheries. Uh, we're collaborating with New South Wales Department of Primary Industries. There's also collaboration with uh, the Department of Environment in New South Wales and we're also working with Indigenous Rangers on, on Gari, uh, the Butchella Land and Sea Rangers. So Jeff has taught us a lot about the symptoms of myrtle rust, what to look out for when us rangers are on country, as well as help us to establish monitoring plots on Gari, um, particularly in the post-burn sites from recent wildfires. The collection of this data helps us to better understand myrtle rust and how myrtle rust affects the health of our country here on Gari. So what we found is, is that you know, there is impact on, on a range of species. Uh, what we don't fully understand at this point in time is how these species might recover over time or if some species won't. Uh, for some species it looks like there is a need for us to actually um, assist with recovery and others um, it looks like it, it's, it's really going to rely on a conservation strategy uh, to save those species. So recovery actions uh, may look like um, trying to identify resistance within populations of a particular species, um, collecting seed from those species and redistributing that seed back into the environment as part of a regeneration program. In the others where, where you don't identify any resistance whatsoever, it may be just purely that we're trying to conserve it and grow it outside the, the range where metal rust can have a big impact. So probably the, the most important thing that we want to do next is, is make sure that we've got actually a collaborative approach to research in myrtle rust. Um, while we're looking at the impact from a, a tree level and a species level, we're not actually looking at the flow-on effects of the decline of particular species. Um, we need to have that broader ecological um, association impact assessments done. Um, even looking at sort of what the flow-on effects to different uh, mammal species, bird species, uh, might be, even the, the pollinator, the insect side of things. Uh, we, we just don't have that sort of information. Now, we're seeing in some of these ecosystems, not so much in the fire studies, but big transitions in, in the plant community composition where Myrtaceae are being eliminated from those systems. So we don't know what the long-term impacts of that will be.